also offers commercial flight training for those looking to make a career change and enter the world of commercial aviation. Ocala Aviation is conveniently located at the Ocala International Airport. So if you're ready to start your adventure, stop by or give them a call today. 861-7484. That's 861-7484. You'll be glad you did. I know I am. Ocala Aviation. Call today. 861-7484. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Five minutes after 10 o'clock, the ever effervescent Kelly Hart. <laughs> you know, I heard that word in a commercial over the weekend. <laughs> commercial. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't even know if I was really paying attention, but that word certainly stuck out. I was like, oh, God, there's my word. So I'm going to have to listen for it next time. And see the rest what of your life, you're stuck with that. Sure. Well, I, That's okay. I, I gave That's you an anchor word. to me. That's an anchor word. Absolutely. You'll, oh, I don't know. It, it'll mean nothing to you other than this relationship that we have. This is great. <laughs> Whatever that means. I, yeah. It may be on my tombstone. I could. Who knows? Who knows where that word will fall on into place? On your tombstone. That's a terrible thing. Well, it gotta, could be. Got to say something. Could, well, yeah. The ever. I think I'll choose what it says. Is she still effervescent? Is the question. Uh, it, does her effervescence carry on? Yes. You should make it like a title. I a, should. Effervescent. Like, One of these days, in a headline or something, <laughs> I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I need to utilize the words. So. Yeah. Uh, good morning. It's freezing. It I'm is. Cold. Is it literally freezing? What, what did I tell you it was? Thirty. Six, maybe? 36. 30? Oh, it's not literally freezing anymore. Okay. Well. It was literally freezing this morning. 27. No, 25 when I got here. Wow. 25. Well, I see you're all bundled up over I'm there. still cold. I know. Well, I knew when I walked past, I was a little worried because I saw how bundled up you were, and I thought, <laughs> my God, is it that cold inside the studio? How come I don't see you looking in when you walk past? I do, every time. Everybody tells me they see me, but I don't see anybody looking at me. Well, you probably, you, what know, you it's like anything else. You, you Turn just, your head right away? Girls do this. Women do this. Like if a guy is checking at the woman, she'll see him. She'll say, oh, I, I saw him looking at me. But if you're checking out a guy, he'll never see you checking him out. Women see everything, though. <laughs> I mean, we're made that way. When we have children, we have to be able to see the road yeah. and, and, and the children. and the Yeah, we're made to see everything. Tell that to the officer when he pulls you over for texting. <laughs> don't worry. I can see everything. I don't text when I drive. I used to. <laughs> I used to until I wrote a story about it and realized just exactly how oh, yeah. dangerous it is. So very, very now I've, I've made a commitment not to do so, except at red lights. You know, I'll, if I'm sitting at a red light or really? a train track or something, <laughs> I'll try to multitask. Train but track. Not why I'm in motion, so makes my mother very proud. Um, yeah, so it's a it's it's a beautiful morning, and uh, I mean, other than being cold, it looks gorgeous, and the sun is shining. And you know, I guess we couldn't ask for a prettier day, but if it could warm up a little bit, that would be nice. It will. It'll get to 32. Yes, great. <laughs> 56, whatever. So, <laughs> for so a few hours. You, you know what I'm going to ask you when, when you have do, do you give yourself the assignments, or does does Linda who how do you get your assignments for the magazine? Well, I don't want to say that I solely give myself assignments. It's a but, but collective But a lot, a, a lot of it's just your idea? But yes. I mean, that's my job. So it's the editor's job to come up with the content and develop the editorial calendar for the next okay. year, basically. We kind of ha like to have an idea so that we can plan marketing strategies around certain themes and issues and it's always subject to change though because you know if a if a hot topic comes up and we're right, able right. to write or let's say someone comes into town and we have the opportunity to interview them and obviously we're not oh, that's, gonna, that's, we're not gonna that's, stick to that's kind of an that's kind of a different type of a topic though when it's just a person to interview right that's different but i mean if you have a topic to write about mm -hmm. like droopy drawers or, or something else mm -hmm. that affected ocala at one point do you, do you have a, an approach in mind for for example okay Here's the best way to explain this. If a news guy, Dan Rather, was going to cover a story, he right. would do it differently than if David Letterman was going to cover that same story. You know, because David sure. Letterman would make it probably silly and funny, and Dan sure. Rather would make it more serious, I, I would think. Right. I mean, do you, do you do that? I mean, do you consciously say, okay, this story, I want it to be, and then think of a flavor? Sure. Well, especially when I'm assigning out to 
to my writers. Like, for example, Keith Chartrand, who I've had in a few times right, as right. a guest. Sometimes I'll get with Keith and I'll say, I have this idea, so I'm assigning you a very specific idea, but let's together brainstorm how it can be written best. You know, everybody has a different style. So I have my own personal writing style that I prefer, but then I, I also have to keep in mind that the magazine itself has a particular style. So I always want to make sure that the way I'm writing is in line with the quality and the standard of the magazine. Right, so, okay. uh, you know, if I got a job with the Inquirer tomorrow, obviously I'd still have my own writing right. style, but it would have to be then in not. line with I would never the garbage. know what to believe. No, I would never work for <laughs> such a mess. But um, so, so yeah, I have to kind of take my style and, and, and tune it in a way that fits the style of the magazine, which isn't hard because... Luckily, I work for a publication that loves current events. We love quality material, positive material, and that's Things in with line a positive, with my positive style. Yes. Final note, like a positive final message. Right. I mean, even even a story about somebody who loses their child. You had this story right. from the texting that you just brought up. Right. I mean, it still had a positive sure. uh, message, which was to, yes. to not drive and right. text and drive. Yeah, I mean, and in the content, when you read that article, like the the Racism Resigns article that's in the February issue, when you're reading through part of the content, there's some stuff in there that's hard to swallow. That guy's a nice guy, too, isn't he? Oh, gosh. So just I, awesome. I met him a long time ago. So I, awesome. It's good to see him again. It's, it, it is such a blessing when someone crosses your path that is able to offer such... You know, such a and you know what it, it, else too. I mean, I know he's his his book is probably doing well, but you you would hope it would do better than that. Whatever it's yeah. doing, it should do better than that, right? Because right. it's such a great message. Sure. Well, okay. I mean, think about it. The world lined up last weekend or last Friday for Fifty Shades of Grey, which you know is is pretty much smut. Did you go? For lack of better word, no. I I didn't read the book either. Yeah. So I'm in that small well, every percentage time I would, of people that is. I, I'm I'm clueless. I don't. Well, I, I, okay. I was aware of the content. Right. And so, m part of my job is to create segments that are entertaining, and the entertainment can be in the form of funny, or it can be in the form of just controversial, sure. whatever. Sure. Well, I thought this would be a funny one, but there was nothing I could actually use on the air. I mean, it was all yeah. it all goes over the line. For me, funny is when you go up to the line but never cross it. Right. Yeah. But they everything went over the line for that one. So. Well, I, and I think that's, you know. And what amazed me is that women liked it. It seems to me that this is the thing. Loved it. Are you kidding? <laughs> they didn't just like it. They were lined up. I mean, for days prior to the movie. In fact, I remember when they made the announcement months ago that there was going to be a movie. Facebook just, you know, like, ding, ding, ding. I mean, but just, isn't, but isn't, oh, we can't wait. Let's get our tickets. Make it a girl's night. I was just but like. But this ah. isn't lovey-dovey sexual no. stuff. This is like whipping. Yeah, Whipping I understand and it's pretty pretty hardcore. Why? Why would this be appealing to anybody? I don't know. I mean, listen, I don't want to. I don't want to criticize those women that were really into that whole thing because, for example, I'm really into scary movies, and <laughs> right. not everybody is. And I've been asked before. You were in one, weren't in you? The world? Yes, I was. I was <sighs> killed off. Oh, it was gruesome. I loved it. It was awesome. Um, they shouldn't have killed you off. Well, it's okay. I mean, I was on my bucket list to die in a horror movie. Was it and really? It happened. And so, yes, that was so awesome, the way that that worked out. So I love those kinds of things. And in my real life, it's, you know, I mean, I live a pretty normal life. You know, I don't have a lot of, yeah. well, I mean, I, some scary things happen, uh, but but not <laughs> not like oh, I, I scary wish I, movie right kind Right there, of at that moment, I wish I knew what was in your brain. Uh, there was something just passed yeah, your brain. Yeah, I know. It's, it's not for on air. We could probably talk about it after the show, but you know, I mean, everybody has those things in their life that are what you would call horrible, but you know, in comparison to some major things, my life is pretty smooth sailing. And so for me, I love the, I love the idea of scary movies, the adrenaline, the fear, the chase. I like being scared and hmm. knowing it's not real, of course. So, you know, people might say liking scary movies are lining up to wait for the next, you know, big Slayer movie is crazy, <laughs> just as crazy right. as a Fifty Shades of Grey. So I don't know. It's All right, so so Fifty Shades of Grey being a cultural thing. Okay. And Ocala sometimes embraces cultural sure. things wonderfully, like like uh, that pirate thing we had some time ago, right? Yeah. Right? That's kind of fun. I mean, I don't know how Fifty Shades of Grey can manifest itself in any way that you could have a street party. But they Although did I'd, downtown. I'd probably show up. They had a Fifty what Shades of Grey. What kind of party of did they did? Yes, the Marion Theater in combination with the Courtyard on Broadway. What they do? And a couple other people downtown. They, if you got your ticket, I think you could, you could go into the Courtyard 
uh, or vice versa. They were working together to have a whole big Fifty Shades downtown kind of a situation. What's the guy's there name? Was some Christian? Mr. Gray. Christian Gray is yeah. the guy's name? There was some Mr. Gray um, This is a rich guy who's a womanizer, right? Isn't that, isn't that what I he guess. is? I, I mean, I guess. Doesn't he, doesn't he basically say, look, I'm not into romance, but I'll, I'll have dinner with you once a week if you, ha- if you have fun with me in my dungeon? That's what I get out of <laughs> most of what I've read online, the commentary. But like I say, I've not read it, thankfully. I, I just, that kind of thing is not really for me. And not because I'm a prude, I just really no. didn't get caught up in No, I'm not either. But I, I, but, I, but I was surprised by the, the, by the cultural... Uh, whatever it was sure. b- because I mean pretty much pornography is usually taboo right. it's not cons- but this is pornographic right how could it not be I don't know I can and I can even understand reading it privately at home but the whole idea of seeing it with people sitting on to my left and to my right I don't know the idea of seeing it in a large group downtown really didn't a- appeal to me <laughs> but uh, you know yes is it possible I mean this is a question I ask myself now you're half my age okay but is it possible that even at your age, it, it's something that younger people are more open? I, it sounds, it seems to, like you look at the words to songs, it's unbelievable. Sure. To me, yes. I, I mean, in a way, it's refreshing because, I, I mean, I guess in my era, it was a little bit too prudish. You know, so it's, it's nice that it was opening up a yeah. little bit, but, yeah, but did it I mean, open up too much, you think? Well, I think so. I mean, some of the things that I listen to, I mean, I I've, listen, as a writer, obviously, I appreciate freedom of speech and those kinds of things. But at the same time, I'm a yeah. mother. So it's hard. Oh, yes. Well, that everything yeah, changes when, everything when changes. the baby comes, right? Yes. All right. I'm sorry. We, we no, missed, it's okay. missed our break. We need to take our okay. break and we'll be right back with Kelly and Ocala Magazine Radio. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Sunshine, breezy and chilly today. Highs in the mid-50s. Mainly clear, cold tonight. But I go 33 and 45 along the coast with a shower in spots along the coast late tonight. But tomorrow, clouds will limit sunshine. It'll become warmer. There may be shower in spots, though, along the coast with highs between 71 and 75. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Are you tired of not using your home's outdoor space for entertaining or relaxation because of all the bugs and leaves? Consider adding a beautiful screen room or glass enclosure. We are Superior Aluminum and Design, a family-owned and operated business with 20 years' experience in the aluminum industry. And we are accredited by the Better Business Bureau. If you appreciate superior workmanship, call Superior Aluminum and Design at 817-8058 or visit us on the web at superioraluminumdesign.com. Join us on Saturday, March 7, 2015 for the second annual Habitat Strawberry Festival at the McPherson Government Complex. The goal of this festival is not only to provide a great time for families in Ocala, but to also raise funds to build a home for our family and our community and support Habitat for Humanity's mission to strengthen communities, build hope, and provide dignified housing solutions. Remember, Saturday, March 7, 2015 for the second annual Habitat Strawberry Festival at the McPherson Government Complex, which starts at 7 a.m. with breakfast. So this is just an interview for the newspaper. I just have a couple of questions. Mr. Gray will see you now. What was he like? There it is. He was... This is the uh, trailer. Intense. Smart. Really intimidating. Do you have any interests outside of work? What about you? I'd like to know more about you. There's really not much to know about me. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I am. This is a pig. This is this guy's a pig. <laughs> See, she, she, this is definitely up, up, up until this point. It's a Cinderella story. To what do you owe your success? I exercise control in all things, Miss Steele. It must be really boring. The music is the only th- good thing the about it. The music is amazing. I'm incapable of leaving you alone. Simple. I had a rough start in life. You should steer clear of me. Got me hoping you save me right now. You kiss. I don't do romance. What is that supposed to mean? That, I don't know. He's creepy. Just based on what he... Just, it is. Just on that dialogue alone. It is. That guy is a stage four clinger. Of course. No. 
See, and so up to, up to this point, mm-hmm. and I haven't seen the movie, so is this unfair to even talk about it without having seen it? But I mean, everything I've looked at, it sounds like up until this point, it's a, it's a, a girl who doesn't think much of herself. She's got right. this job doing what you do, which is doing articles. She's got to do an article about this guy who's got a lot of money. He's a good looking young guy, right? So he's a, she's attracted to him because of that power thing, whatever happens to women, Could right? Be, yeah. He's attracted to her for the normal reasons because she's pretty. And, but, and clearly insecure. Yeah. So he's so you know, of, so for a, so for a creepy control freak, she's the perfect victim. Uh, and pe- and people insecure. love this story. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't get it. We need to be we need to be lined up for stories like <laughs> Ocala Magazine. <laughs> Those are the kind of stories we need to be lined up for. No, I get it. It's entertainment, and you know, some people love sports. Some people like pornographic uh, movies and horror movies, and you know, every there's something for everybody. But you know. To me, the whole dialogue, just what you played right there, is not something that is appealing to me. I don't do romance. I don't do romance. I'd have been like, well, so, pff, bye. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Where's her father at this I point? I don't know. This is where her she father should step in. She probably doesn't have a father, which is probably why yeah. she would even get into that kind of a situation. Is George C. Scott still alive? He could have played her father. <laughs> He could have gone in there. Let's do a remake of 50 We're doing a whole psychological evaluation on the trailer, and I'm sure that there's way more to it because both of us have not seen it. But, you know, based on that alone, no. I would have run from him, you know, smacked her and said, get it together, and uh, it would have been a totally, totally different scenario. But what do I know? Do you know what's crazy about what you and I do is that we talk about this, but yet if one of the – primary players was on we'd be so nice to them oh hey hi how's it going oh well of course, well, of course. I, I know isn't that crazy is it hypocritical what do you think no and I'm, I'm a pretty honest person I mean if you know if I have somebody sitting here and I'm gonna always give credit where credit is due so if they are great actors they're great actors you know if it's a successful movie right, which clearly right. it was right. people were lined up okay. wrapped around the corner then it's right. a successful movie but if they ask me you know what do you think about this or maybe that and right, I really right. am opposed to it I think I would Oh, I, I think I've too. always been the type to just kind of in a in a very it would tactful, get in there. It would get as in there. Tactful as I can yeah. say, mm, I didn't uh, yeah. understand would, or like that. Make part. its way into yeah. the interview. So, and I think people appreciate honesty for the most part. And if I didn't bring it up, Robin would bring it up. Yeah. What are you thinking? <laughs> well, it's nice that you have her with you. See, it's just me alone. So if the good or the Absolutely, bad comes yeah. out, it has to come from me. But. Yeah. Um, Changing gears just just a little bit. I know February is is coming to an end, and we're busy over at Ocala Magazine working on our March issue, which is really exciting. We've got some bridal features, and um, uh, it's just several layers of things that that will be just as great as February's issue alone. But I want to talk about our nursing event. I know I've hit on it a few yeah. times, and I want to keep yeah. talking about it until it actually happens. We have collected so many nominations. You know, we put a call out for for nominations for nurses. We're giving away three awards, and one of them is for nurses who have been working less than 10 years, and then there's one for 10 to 20 years or 19 years, and then one for 20 years or more. So three nurses will be awarded at our event, and we're really excited. And the nominations just they were coming in left and right. So it was really exciting because this is our first one. So to have so many people on board with the nominations, it makes our job hard, of course, because we have to create the panel of judges that will narrow all of these things down. And yesterday, as I was dividing them up based on which award they qualified for, of course, I, you know, read through just out of curiosity. And, you know, it really put into perspective for me how important this event is. You know, I already knew, obviously, that nurses do an amazing job right, and they right, were deserving right. of such an event and such an award but it wasn't until I really started reading through the nominations and some of the very specific things that were mentioned and who it, picks the winner who picks them well we have a panel so a panel. we've we've asked representatives of medical facilities hospitals right. um, people in the community to that that kind of know how how will you and is it judge. all based on what you're reading it, Some, yes. Something somebody wrote? It is. Okay. It's based on the nomination submissions and what was written. So, you know, it was up to the people nominating to be very specific and convincing. And the names, of course, will be removed. And the facility that these nurses work at will be removed. The so names that, are removed. So are the, is no the gender favoritism. removed? I, I, I wonder if... No, the gender's not removed. And even in the description on the nomination forms, you know, it, it would say... He or she. You know, he or she. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, but that's... 
Because that, I, I've fine. often thought, okay, I wonder if a male nurse is discriminated against. <laughs> like, does some, like, does a patient say, uh, I'm your nurse, I don't want a male nurse. I wonder if that happens a lot. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I know it happens in other areas of you know, I mean, like we all, gynecology, for example. Some people are very specific about gotta be. what they what they prefer. So, And I think that, I don't think, you know. I guess I wouldn't so, see. Yeah. I don't know if it's necessarily discrimination as much as it is just feeling very comfortable. Maybe it just depends on right. the level of service that's right, required right. and not I'm guessing, feeling comfortable. Do you think this is a fair statement that 90 or more percent of the nurses are women? Seems like it. Uh, I would say 80, maybe. Oh, really? And maybe only because I know several nurses and I I know a lot of male nurses. Should be a different word, though. Other than nurse? From male, yeah. Well, that might be discrimination then. Really? Yeah. What would it be? Doesn't nurse sound like a female word? No. No? No. I think the only reason it sounds like a female word is because we're so used to nurses being female. But you nurse, I mean, as a verb... Mm-hmm. Well, if you hear the word police officer, do you think, do you, do you first think of a man? Yes. Of course. See, so yes. these things are, you know, they're, okay. they're evolving. But nobody, but officer isn't a verb. Nurse is a verb. So well, you don't. Yeah. You could nurse someone yeah. back to health. I don't know. That's a, that's a, that's a good question. But <laughs> for the sake of our event, it's open to both male and female nurses. And what are you we doing? welcome everybody. What do you need for the event? What, how can we help you? Not just us, the radio station, but I mean the community. What we're looking for now, so we've got our nominations. So the process of choosing our award winners is, is already kicked off and in place. What we're looking for now is sponsors. We want local businesses to get involved and become a sponsor. And there's, there's varying levels of sponsorship. And if you're interested, you can call Ocala Magazine, you can email myself, you can email one of the salespeople, and we will get you that information. It's also on our website, ocalamagazine.com. So, and and it's on our Facebook page, we've been posting that throughout as well, but there's different levels of sponsorship. Okay, And what are they? What are, how much does it cost to sponsor? And what, oh, what is it? You're you asking me a sales question now, and I'm not exactly <laughs> sure. Uh, well, we have our title sponsor, which is ICE. So Dr. Kummer and his, his group have, they are our, our title sponsor. So it's presented by Ocala Magazine Celebration of Nurses, presented by ICE. So that was really nice of them to get involved and want to be our title sponsor. Nice ICE. Nice ICE, yes. Baby. Yes. Uh, so different, I, I, I don't want to rattle off numbers, but I know that the, there's sponsorship package, okay. uh, packages, which involves advertisements in our issues and our nursing issue, as well as being able to set up an event table at the event itself and interface with the nurses and their families and friends, which mm. is really nice. And it does not have to be a medical related sponsor. You know, you could, you could own a car detailing company sure. and still want to participate because the nurses that show up will see, hey, these local businesses got involved to help celebrate us because it, everybody at some point is going it to is a, it's an invisible an invisible workforce that we couldn't live without is the nursing no, no. the nursing profession no we cannot live yeah. like, they're not literally totally invisible live without but, them but the most we, we don't see them unless we need them that's what I'm saying but they're out there right now they're doing their jobs right they're now. out there while we're asleep they're out there and while we're having breakfast with our yeah. kids they're out there they're and cleaning like, up disgusting they're doing all liquids. kinds of terrible yeah. things that yeah. I know I, personally I could not do I was not made for and so I respect them greatly for what they're able to do and you, you're right without them we, we couldn't live I mean they they're at our kids school if our kid falls down and gets a scraped knee you know a nurse comes in and makes them feel better when mom and dad is at work and can't be there. So That's right. They do fill a lot of really important roles. That's why we're so excited about the event and to be able to offer a free event where they come out. There's going to be entertainment. We have It's going to be luau themed, and so we have some fire dancers and hula girls what and was that steel woman? drums. Who's that tall woman with the dark hair? What's her name? Oh, uh, Michaela. Michaela. Yeah. yeah she's yes. sweet. And you know what she, she does? all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, she's got some interesting posts on Facebook, too. Yes. Yes, she does. Yes, did you see does. the one she did with Wednesday, Adult Wednesday, the the the, the girl who gets like razzed by these knucklehead guys? No, oh, huh. yeah. Well. I guess I didn't see that one. No, and uh, she's the one that actually told me. I reached out to her and said, "We need some entertainment," and she she referred me to this company that's got all kinds of phenomenal 
you know, we'll have uh, ukuleles playing and there'll be free <laughs> food and there'll be beer and wine and a lot of interactive entertainment and photo opportunities. And it's going to be a lot of fun for our nurses. And so we really want to encourage local businesses to find a way to get involved, not only because obviously it's a great opportunity to build a relationship with Ocala Magazine for advertisement, but it's also a way to say that we appreciate our nurses, and is I think that goes a long way. Is there a program you're selling ads for that we could say congratul oh, congratulate? Oh, yeah, we'll have, we'll have... For the uh, individual sponsors, like... Sure, yes. Like, if I wanted to say, thank you, Nurse Sally, you took care of my father, that kind nothing, of thing? Yeah. Well, no, nothing specific like that. Um, of course, if you, you're always free to buy an ad and say whatever you want in it. So if there was someone that wanted to specifically reach out to a, to a nurse in that issue and buy an ad, I think that'd be a wonderful idea. That's what I would do. Yeah, I think it'd be great. So please like us on Facebook, Ocala Magazine. We're also on Instagram now, Ocala underscore magazine. And you can visit us at ocalamagazine.com. Thank you, Kelly. Thanks. Always fun. Thank we'll you. we'll be right back. This is WOCA Ocala. Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. Record lows and gusty winds, the wintry story in much of the Northeast. With the recent snow buildup in New England, snow on the roof is a problem. It's like a uh, frozen.